That was back then. And that's what our people say. Why? Because you don't went to the seminary school and got brainwashed. And the so-called denomination of churches do not brainwash brothers and sisters. That's why the most I say you must be cleansed with the blood of Yahweh Shah, born again, and come in and be instructed over to you. So here's the land of Israel when we came out of, out of Egypt. The 12 lot, 12 tribal allotments of Israel. This is according to the map in the Bible. You open up your Bible. So let's read about Reuben I mean, this, uh, she is the son. Now the children of Reuben, and the children of God, who are the God acts today? The so-called North American Indians. They made 500 nations in this land uh, alone, on this continent, coming from Jerusalem and became a nation and a company of nations. And out of Gad today, they're all on the reservation. They all got pushed, just like we did, pushed up in the corner. And until this very day, they are hidden people and they got problems amongst them. Drugs. Americanism, they just had a documentary I'll show you all uh, online that the Pope went to apologize for killing and in infiltrating millions of our people. Mm -hmm. And this happened all over Israel, not only just in Judah. It happened to Ethan, Zebulon, Manasseh. Check it out in history. And we're going to get these historical records and we're going to show our people. Mm -hmm. Read this, I pray thee. Whether they hear or whether they forbear, the ones that shake their hand and go, ah, that's religion. Guess what? You ain't getting on them ships, man. Mm -hmm. That's why in the New Testament it says, and that report was believed in that day. So when the apostles came to certain of our people and the synagogues and they were keeping on the commandments, some of them believed in how it shot. They changed their, their course. So if you change your course and you think, you have a chance to get out of here with the salvation of the See what they say here? So Reuben and Gad were together back then. And had a great multitude of cattle. What were the North American Indians known for? Buffalo. They used to be on the plains up there. What area were they in? It says, and they saw the land of Gaza and the land of Gilad. Mm -hmm. Where's, where's uh, Reuben Bob? Right here. Not Tyler. Manasseh. Benjamin. Judah. God. Manasseh. Reuben Bob. Where are you, Reuben Bob? Asha. Not Tyler. <laughs> See all these areas? Manasseh. So Reuben Bob and Gad was up here. Here's Gad right here. And the Reubenites were here. Mm -hmm. See? So on the other side of Jordan, these were the land masses that they were talking about. Mm -hmm. Right here. See? And when they were in these areas, they had a lot of cattle. See what it says here? Multitude of cattle. And when they saw the land of Gaza and the land of Gilad, that behold, the place was a place for cattle. Means a lot of Plus land, mm -hmm. raising areas. That's why we were the first cowboys. Mm -hmm. Do y'all realize that? Abraham. Abraham was like a the cowboy. They were living out on the on the plains. Mm -hmm. They had their horses. They had their women and stuff. You see, Gad and the other tribes. They had their horses when the Esau brought horses over here, and they were living out on the plains. They say Gad broke like a lion. Mm -hmm. Zebulon 